Okay guys, today I'll be showing you how to input the Steam skin that I have. Doesn't look good. See, in this skin, the good thing is that you can, like, if you have many friends like me, so you can see me, all of them on sale, or else they mostly show like this, plus 189, plus 140. So there's enough space in this particular skin. Okay, so today I'll be showing you how to do that. So you open this, I'll give you this link. You in the description, so go to the link. I like this, so let's do this. Top anytime the filter helps a lot. So this is the one that I have, and this one's also really good. Now you just need to download it. Nothing else mostly needed. Yeah, it'll take a little time. Mm -hmm. After that, you can shut your internet browser. Then go to your downloads or whatever you call it. Yeah, so extract it one by one. Okay, so now here we have pixel vision. Now, the pixel vision has two different things in it. Uh, first, just copy this. Then people mostly install. Then go to this C drive, program files, and mostly all install Steam like this. So it might be your, you might be having a Steam folder here, or maybe in program files x86, any one of those two. I have installed my Steam in a different drive. So here it is. Now you don't need to go to Steam apps or anything. You just need to go to Skins and paste it here. That's done. Then you just need to now this thing has a, a one more extra part of it, the fonts. So you copy them all, then go to the C drive, Windows, oh, where is it? Yeah. and to your fonts folder. This might take a little time for you to load because there are many fonts. Uh, yeah, I don't mind. Let this fonts get installed. Mind you, if you don't do that, then you might end up in making an error. After that, you must go to your Steam, then go to Settings, go to the third option, Interface, and go to select the skin. So you can choose it. Then you can choose it, and then you press OK, and then a pop up will come to restart Steam. Okay, then now I'll show you how to install the True Blood. The True Blood has nicely been done with an installer which is really good. Highly appreciate it. And I just need to change the directory. Yep. Uh, and next. Yep. Mm. Then it's done. It'll be automatically done which is really good. It'll be here. And our install is also there. It's nice. Okay, once that's done also, you can you do the same, same very damn thing. If you like uh, pixel vision and you choose, I'll show you what happens. I'll restart Steam. Now my Steam will restart. It'll take a little time. There you go, the blood. Nice, filthy blood. I don't use this skin because of the... Like due to the latest update, there's something over here in a box which gives you the new notification. It's not there. This, otherwise, it's good. So that's why I use the pixel one. Uh, pixel vision, okay. Just for your convenience, I'm changing it to the pixel. Uh, there, you go. this looks really nice. I I really like this. So that's how you do it. So I hope this helped you in installing these nice uh, skin steam skins. Have a nice day.